What is up, guys? Hello, Japan here again, and I clapped. Yeah. Uh, this video is going to be the final installation into this year's E3 2011 response video series. I am actually just going to run down a generalization of the press conferences and give you my quick thoughts on them and a final grade overall. First, let's begin with the first one, which was in, or Microsoft. Microsoft. I just did Nintendo. Microsoft. Now, Microsoft's overall, I felt, was very Kinect heavy, which I understand they're trying to sell it. They need to sell it. But next year, please, Microsoft, lay off on Kinect a little bit. I, w I want you guys to go back to the hardcore in terms of what you're focusing on, because all they really had there for hardcore was... I believe they had Mass Effect. They had Mass Effect and Gears. And uh, War, Modern Warfare as well. So there, there might, there might have been a couple other games. I just don't remember. But <laughs> those three games basically carried me through the whole conference, expecting more, more hardcore at the end, or more hardcore announcements with the Connect. I mean, sure, Ghost Recon, but I'm not a big Ghost Recon fan, like I said. So that didn't bother. I mean, that didn't appeal to me too much. But overall, their press conference was decent. It's probably about the same as last year, in my opinion, because it was very connect heavy then, very connect connect heavy now. But in the end, it was decent, and I feel that they deserve at least a B plus. So Microsoft gets a B plus on the Tyler scale of ratings. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Next, we have EA. Now EA uh, kind of bored me with the sports because I'm not a big sports fan. As I've said, through every single video now, I believe, except Nintendo. I know I hadn't. <laughs> they, yeah, I mean, it was it was okay. They had Mass Effect. They had Battlefield, which actually looks very, very good. And I can't remember. Is Far Cry Ubisoft or EA? I believe it's EA. I'm not 100% sure, though. I'm taking a look real quick. Um... I don't... No, it's Ubisoft. That's Ubisoft. Okay, well, <laughs> regardless, EA was decent, like I said. Uh, announced the new Insomniac game. Had Battlefield, SSX, which I like. The need, 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 yeah, the need for Speed game looked good. Mass Effect looks amazing. Uh, I mean, they they were a little better than... Uh, they are about the same as Microsoft, because it was a pretty slow-moving press event, I feel. Just because they didn't have too many games, realistically. They had like eight or nine games in total, which is kind of a letdown to me. But still a, still was good nonetheless, so I believe they deserve a B, just a solid B. Solid B is good. Eh, B plus, B plus. I'll give them the B plus, just, just because. So they got a B plus, uh, as well as Microsoft. But Ubisoft, come on Ubisoft, this year really... Did you really have to have Mr. Caffeine? He was annoying as hell. He was a really annoying little bugger. <laughs> He's no fun to listen to. And your game selection wasn't that great either. Uh, I mean, Rayman Origins, big Rayman fanatic, so I was excited about that. Driver San Francisco, never really heard of it, so I wasn't too interested. Far Cry 3, I loved the way they introduced this. They just had the developers come out, and they're like, we got a game for you. Here you go. And they started playing a demo, and I was like, what in the world? And the line that guy, the line that one guy gave, the crazy dude, is like, uh, you know, the definition of insanity or whatever he said. He said it throughout the whole entire thing. And at the very end, they ended it with that too, which was awesome. Uh, and it came out of nowhere because I was like, what is, what game is this? I was sitting there the whole time rattling games. I couldn't figure it out. It ended up being Far Cry 3, and I was very, very happy of it. Uh, Brothers in Arms, I don't really care. Ghost Recon, again, I don't really care. Trackmania, don't care. Raven Rabbids, don't care. And at the end, they had Assassin's Creed which was, along with Rayman and Far Cry 3, were the saving graces of the show. So, come on, Ubisoft next year, step your game up. I know, every year, everyone tells them that because they're known for being one of the <laughs> few few companies who usually don't have the greatest track record with pressed events. <sighs> yeah, but again, next year, no more Mr. Caffeine, please. 
But this year, they did okay. They had the saving graces, so I feel I'm going to give them a C, solid, just a flat C. No C-, minus, no C+, plus, just a C. Because it wasn't bad, wasn't great, it was decent. Next up was Sony. Now, Sony's was very good. I, I liked it quite a bit because they had games like Uncharted 3, Resistance 3. They announced the new PSV, the new TV they had. Uh, they... They didn't focus too much on the move, which I liked. They did mention it a few times, quite a few times actually. They had a se- they they just segmented it, which I liked. They the beginning had the general PS3 stuff, then the move stuff, and a few PSP things tr- tr- like sprinkled on top, and then they had PSV, which I loved. I'm glad they saved the whole last hour. Uh, I was gonna say hour. It's not an hour. Last like 30 minutes, 40 minutes roughly, for PSV, which Great decision. I really liked it. I feel they deserve an A minus as an overall grade. Which you're passing, or an a. <laughs> of course you're passing. You got an A. Still, and as for Nintendo, I feel Nintendo again this year stole the show for me. Uh, they did last year. Last year was also Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft. This year again, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft. In terms of the big three, but Nintendo stole it for me. Simply because they announced new hardware, and, well, Sony announced new hardware, but it's not a new console iteration. And as well as showing all the Zelda stuff, and I'm a big Zelda fanatic, that's that's another thing as well. But the new console just looks so promising, in my opinion, that there's so many new avenues of development and uh, creation and idealism behind, not idealism, but uh, I, ideas behind this new system, which companies could do endless amounts of thing I'm sure endless amounts of stuff rather with this new device incorporating both the gyroscope and the Wiimotes and all this stuff they're giving people an avenue to to go wild so I hope someone takes advantage of this and because of all that I feel Nintendo deserves an A plus on their press conference it was a little sketchy in the beginning and most conferences have their dips the beginning was a little awkward but like I said, Miyamoto can be excused because he's freaking Miyamoto. So, that's that. Overall, they deserved a very well-approved A+, in my opinion. Well, this year's E3 is coming to an end. I believe it either ended uh, today or yesterday. I don't know exactly when it ends. It may end tomorrow, for all I know. I don't know. But... I want to thank you guys for watching my press conference videos. Hope you've enjoyed them. As I said, I gave Microsoft a B plus, EA a B minus, no, B, B. I think. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, all that matters is that the order of importance of this year's E3 was Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft. So if, there, if Microsoft is listening, please. The gamers on the internet want you to make hardcore games again. Well, you still are, but just focus more next year on the hardcore. Please. Please. I've been Hell Japan. See you guys later.